Hello and welcome everyone. So the Cyber Weekend deals are live and I am Thronebreaker so here are the deals for um, Thronebreaker and my kind of thoughts and first impressions. So if you're going to spend money um, some pretty good added value for these units like for this Odin here you get this 6 star Nexus Crystal Selector so you get to select the class type of the Nexus for the 6 star so pretty pretty cool plus you get the tier 2 alphas um, they're, they're always nice um, tier 5 basics those are nice 20% of a tier 5 catalyst fragment selector that's also pretty nice you know if, so if you're gonna spend pretty good deal to get all this added stuff um, I won't be spending but you know if you are not not too bad of offers really like Black Panther's treasure here 20,000 six star hero crystal showers that's good um, 5% of a tier 5 selector yeah that's you know that helps you know especially if you're getting close to um, getting, getting a fragment there um, to get a rank 3 and 35 um, signature stones too for 6 stars that would be great you know once I get my Aegon duped I'd love to you know pump the, as many of those into them as I can uh, and then like but for $30 you get a Nexus Hero Crystal that's pretty cool. I mean, you're not guaranteed anything, but you know, you know, they'll pop up three champions and pick the best one. So, you no, know, not too bad. You know, thirty dollars. Um, Star Lord's loot bag. Um, you know, six stones are nice. The fra fragment crystals, they're not too bad. Um, and then uh, Peter Parker's wallet here. You know, ten thousand five star um, star hero shards. You know, that's pretty nice for five bucks. Plus, you get a thousand six star. But I've been deciding: do I use my units, or do I uh, on these offers, or do I go into the abyss? I have almost twelve thousand. I have a whole bunch of battle chips, um, so I can open up some arena crystals, some uncollected ones, or whatnot. Um, maybe I could get you know a couple thousand more there potentially. So it's not enough to get up to the 15,000 for all these unit offers, but I know it'd probably be enough to clear the abyss. So then this was an offer that popped up. And for a thousand units, I think this is a pretty good offer. I mean, the six star shards are pretty nice. Um, another awakening gem, that's cool. Um, the six stones are really nice. You know, I'm trying to work on some prestige. So I definitely need that. And the five star nexus hero crystal that's pretty cool but the other offers um, to try to decide you know which ones you know do I I'm gonna get the thousand one I've already kinda of figured that out but now it's time to figure out you know do I go to the next one the four thousand unit one and when I'm looking at this you know it's like six more six star signature stones crystals which I've been trying to get as many of them as I can. I don't have an Awakened 6 star I want to put them in yet, so I've been just holding on to them. But I know when I clear Abyss, I'm going to get a generic Awakening Gem, which I will use on my uh, Aegon. So I'm just trying to get as many Signature Church Stones as I can for when that day happens. Um, a 4 to 5 rank up gen as a 5 star, that'd be great. I have some champions I want to rank up to rank 5, um, like my Dragon Man that I got recently. I want to get him up. He's pretty fun, pretty cool to play. Um, another tier 5 um, basic catalyst. Not too bad. Um, I'm at a point where I need a lot more tier 2 alphas because I don't want to get in a spot where I'm, I'm going to have those um, expire on me. The tier 5 basic catalyst I should say. So I'm a little nervous about getting too many of those compared to my tier 2 alphas. But I think I should be okay at least for a little bit. But I gotta get some more tier two alphas. Um, plus, with this, it gets a six star Nexus Hero Crystal. And I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go for it, just because if I could somehow, you know, get Aegon from that, or or really any champion. I haven't had the best six star luck, so if I can at least choose one of the three. You know, maybe I can finally get another champion I can, you know, rank up outside of my Aegon, my Warlock. And I did just rank to my Invisible Woman, but other than that, I don't really have any other candidates. And I've been getting some getting some dupes that I don't really don't really deem worthy to rank to. And 
but then get into the 10,000 unit one and I'm looking at this in you know it's not bad but my first thoughts when I'm looking at this is it's okay I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it you know I was thinking I could open up my arena crystals maybe that'll push me up to have you know be close to that 15,000 to go for it but as I'm looking at this I'm thinking I'm gonna save those units and just use them for abyss because I have three more passive abyss if I can just get that done there's great rewards there and those rewards are way better than the this for 10,000 units because yes you get a rank up gem one to two that's pretty nice just to save on the you know all the resources there but you know um, you get that you get two tier five basic um, catalysts yeah not bad but like I said I'm running into a tier two alpha situation more than I'm running out of or running out of tier five basics I got almost too many of them um, five ten percent of a class uh, catalyst fragment crystal not bad you know that gets you up add them all up that's half of a fragment but nothing too crazy there 25 six star stones again not bad but you know when you when we're looking at all these for 10,000 units I'm thinking like there needs to be more here and basically the big hitter here is a one featured six star hero crystal that's pretty nice um that's you know 15,000 six star shards you know in the 1.5 million gold is nice because gold has been an issue for me I've been doing okay on that right now um so yeah I don't know for 10,000 units like just comparing that between the 4,000 4,000 you get a nexus crystal and the difference I know you get other things but then here you get you know a featured six star well you know 4,000 units compared to 10,000 units you know you still get you're still getting your six star yes you get these other rank up stuff but I don't know it's just I'm not too interested in that I'm gonna save it for the abyss um, and then uh, last one here 3,000 units um, for the maximum bomb window awakening gem you know 1.5 million gold pretty cool um, for 3,000 units that's good so if you're gonna go for all of them this last one's pretty good for 3,000 units to get awakening gem because it's a six star that's cool um, it's just that 10,000 unit offer I'm just not sure on so I'm gonna purchase these and we're gonna have uh, a video of me opening up my five-star Nexus in my six-star Nexus so I'll post this and then I'll post that one right after so I hope everyone enjoyed but this is my perspective from a Thronebreaker um, player who is considering Abyss or considering buying these unit offers um, I'm gonna pick up the first two here the 1,000 unit offer 4,000 unit offer then I'm saving the rest for the abyss so yeah if if you I hope everyone enjoyed uh, and thanks for watching